morning. It is day number nine of the lion diet. If you've been following my vlogs, you know that I actually just wrapped up day number eight because I fell a little bit behind with filming. <laughs> So I wrapped day number eight up. I'll be editing that and posting it today and I'm opening day number nine. I am getting ready to have some breakfast before I start work for the day. I did just get out of the shower so my hair is a little bit uh, frizzy and everywhere but it's going to be a great day regardless. So for breakfast today I'm going to make myself a nice big cup of hot bone broth add my collagen, and then I think I'm gonna have a leftover beef um, kielbasa sausage, possibly a beef patty as well. We'll see what we got in the fridge. <laughs> got my bone broth and collagen. I need to mix it up just a little bit better. And then I did go with a beef um, sausage and then just a couple small pieces of some of the smoked short ribs. All right, guys, it is my lunch break and I want to share just a little encouragement with us before I go grab my food. Um, and this is kind of stemming from the encouragement I shared in yesterday's vlog, which I actually shared this morning. If you're following along, I wrapped up yesterday's vlog today. Um, but anyway, so I want to kind of talk about um, perfection and I actually want to encourage us to pursue excellence over perfection. So I heard a quote quite a while ago, actually, probably a few years ago, and it has stuck with me. And the quote is, the road to perfection is paved in disappointment. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> but that struck me because I, as I shared in the last video, I'm a recovering perfectionist. I have that perfectionist kind of personality or way about me. Um, if I'm not paying attention and keeping it in check. Um, but I realized that a lot of my life trying to chase perfection, I would just end up getting frustrated and give up. Um, and so that quote really stuck out to me, like the path to um, perfection is paved in disappointment. We're always going to be left disappointed if we're chasing perfection and things just aren't really perfect in this world, but they can be excellent and you can be excellent and I can be excellent and we can achieve big things and we can accomplish dreams and we can um, be victorious in our day-to-day -day life. But for me, I have found that through pursuing excellence over pursuing perfection. And I feel like by going after excellence, I'll get closer to perfection than I ever did chasing perfection. Because again, it just left me disappointed and wanting to quit, overwhelmed, wanting to give up. And it actually just made the whole process like not fun and not enjoyable. Whereas I'm learning now that I'm kind of looking at it more like, I just want to get better each day. I just want to kind of, you know, be more excellent. But when a mistake happens, it's okay. I wasn't going after perfection anyway. So I can just keep going. And I found that it becomes more of an enjoyable adventure and an enjoyable journey. So just a perspective shift that has helped me, um, that I still remind myself of, it gives me the ability to have more grace for myself and be quicker to forgive myself if I mess up. And so I hope that that encourages you today. Um, try to strive for excellence rather than perfection. Don't hold any mistakes against yourself. Keep going. Enjoy the journey. Let it be an adventure. And uh, yeah, we got this. We can do it. I never finished my sausage at breakfast, so I'm just going to have the rest of that for lunch. And then I'm going to have another cup of bone broth with another scoop of collagen. I'm not super hungry, but I really 
really want to reach my protein goal every day and so I'm gonna try another cup of the bone broth with um, added protein in there just so I can hopefully reach that goal because like I'm like I said I'm not feeling super hungry so we'll try that <music> Today we had to rush out, we had an appointment we had to get to, so we quickly heated up some of our leftover uh, beef short ribs and beef sausages. So basically I ate the same thing again for um, dinner that I had like for breakfast and lunch today, <laughs> but it was just one of those days. Leftovers came in clutch because we had a busy schedule. Um, but we just got home a little bit ago. It's a little chilly out here, but I am getting a little fresh air and the last bit of sunlight for today um, before I get ready to wind this day down. Um, so yeah, we did it day number nine. <laughs> so day number 10 coming tomorrow and I will talk to you all then. Bye.